Hey guys, what's going on? It's TechBot22, back here with another video, and today we're going to be sharing everything we know about Alien Hominid Invasion. Now I want to say, this game isn't a sequel to Alien Hominid, it is a completely new game, it is not a remastered version or anything, it's completely new, and I just want to say it looks amazing. Now this game, of course, was made by the behemoth, the people who made Castle Crashers. I've been streaming that a lot, if you haven't seen already. So, one of the great things about this game are all the new moves. As you can see on screen, a lot of the game is parkour. Yeah! Parkour. And learning how to use your new set of moves to get around the map as fast as possible. Here's a little clip of a guy actually interviewing Dan Paladin, the main artist of this, and he reveals a lot of awesome stuff here. Now I have this footage due to a channel Monster Vine, so I want to thank them for this footage. Part of it is the Aliens move set. We took every single feature, rolling, jumping, anything, and we rethought it from the ground up. And I think that, so for digging, uh, you can move under the ground and pop up underneath them. In the old one, you just dug underground and then you just have your arm come up and pull them straight down. And that's cool, but this, is, this new way is cooler. Uh, that's one example, and the fact that the level is completely open, you can fly all over the place, you can go left, you can go right, you can go up, down. You can choose to retreat from things, whereas in the old one, you're just kind of stuck in the screen with them. Yeah. Yeah. So another thing you noticed he said there is that actually, this is like an open world game, but not exactly. So the levels are open and non-linear. You can go left and right, so you can retreat if you want to, or you can stay in the fight. Another important thing is that you can leave halfway through the level and still complete it but you can get more out of a level by staying longer, but the difficulty will increase with the time. Another thing you can see here is actually the characters have masks and hats, and that's just like Castle Crasher. So as you can see here, some gameplay, the hats give you different abilities like plus speed, plus defense, things like that. And then you can also change the type of gun you have. Like here, there's a human minigun. So that is pretty awesome. Also, this gameplay comes from Handsome Phantom. I'll leave his description down below. So, thank you to him. So, I've been looking through the comments of the trailers for this new game. And something a bunch of people are complaining about, actually, is the fact that there's no blood and gore. And Dan Paladin himself said that the reason they're not doing this is because they're going for a more arcade style. And also, if you lose all your lives, you lose a whole sector of the game that you're on, and you have to restart that sector. So that's something that could be important. I don't know yet until I get my hands on the game. So this game is currently in development, but in a video, Dan Paladin actually hinted towards a release date, but they're not sure. But maybe around November, because that's when Alien Hominid, the first game, originally came out. So maybe they will stick with that. So currently, that's all we know about this game. Comment down below if you're excited. I am extremely hyped for this game. And comment if you'd like to see more update videos when more news gets released. So I appreciate you watching my video, taking time out of your day. But remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It's completely free and it would help me out. Thank you and peace out.